I'm sorry. Hey you guys, it's Frida here and I have a sick little baby next to me. He just turned five months and he has the sniffles. It's been a pretty rough couple days <laughs> and last week I planned to shoot this video in the nursery all nice and done and everything and he has not been feeling well and he doesn't want to just sit down. He wants me to hold him and he wants to be rocking. This is the only way that I can calm him down. Um, but as you can see, his nose is running like crazy. The only time he can really sleep is when he's sitting up. When he's lying down, his nose gets really congested. And as of yet, like there's no temperature, no high fever, anything. It's just a runny nose and maybe a few coughs. Hasn't been too bad, so he's not on any medication. Just have the humidifier on along with um, a little bit of eucalyptus oil. And I know that a lot of eucalyptus oil for newborns are not good, but he's five months and it's just a tad little bit. Most of you that follow me on Instagram have been asking for a baby update and I haven't done one in quite a while. I should have been doing it at least once a month, but I, for some reason, time just kind of takes over and the only times that I would really shoot videos were when was when he was sleeping so um oh, poor little guy I didn't really get to shoot any updates but I thought since he just hit his five month mark and we just had a pediatrician appointment yesterday I thought I would do one my oh, bud he's not been sleeping so he's super groggy as of yesterday's appointment, he is now 26 inches long, weighs 15 pounds, 13 ounces, which is almost 16 pounds. And his head is 17 inches. It's pretty large, I guess. He's a very happy baby. He's been rolling over. He actually started rolling over when he hit four months. Just out of nowhere, it just happened. So now every time you put him on his back, he usually just kind of flips himself over, which is crazy. Um, just as of last week, he can kind of sit by himself, maybe for a minute, maybe under a minute, and then he, if he tries to move, he kind of loses balance. But he has been starting to do the sit down and scooch towards something, so I'll have him sit down and I'll put his little toys in front of him and he'll just kind of like scooch up. So he can't crawl yet, but he does kind of go backwards. He you know, he kind of pushes himself backwards. And I heard that's one of the first things that happen before he actually starts to crawl. So we're kind of just waiting on that. He planks a lot, which is pretty amazing. It's better than me because he planks for such a long time. We just introduced him to solid foods, which was crazy and interesting and so much fun. I have it videotaped. There he is, he wants First bite. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, but he's going for it. He's grabbing the spoon. <laughs> okay, he might like it. I think he might like it. Overall, it seemed like he liked the cereal. Um, I think the breast milk helped. I'm glad we got that Baby Bjorn high chair because it's like the perfect height easy to assemble and easy to clean up and then I love those spoons from Ola Baby because they're just so soft and he was able to just kind of like put it in his mouth and chew on it without me being scared of I don't know him hurting himself so that was awesome so far so good the only thing that's food wise that's a little bit hard for me is he still won't take the bottle so we're trying to introduce him to the sippy cup which he can kind of sip every now and then but sometimes he just puts it in his mouth to kind of chew on because he thinks it's a toy so we're in training for that and then we were told to do sleep training which I'm kind of terrified because I know he's gonna have to cry even if we leave him for five minutes he cries so I know I'm gonna have to hear that and it's gonna be so hard. And it's funny because in Japan, the baby usually sleeps with the mom or parents until they're like one or two. And over here, it's all about sleep training as soon as possible. Which I'm kind of in the middle because he used to sleep a good patch 
maybe four or five hours when I first put him down around 7, 7.30. And now when I put him down, he just wakes up every two hours, one to two hours. I haven't been sleeping that much. And I think I do need to start training because it'll be beneficial for both of us. Even his um, afternoon naps, they used to be an hour, hour and a half long. And now they're 20 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes 40 minutes um, and that's usually when like I have to drive somewhere for 40 minutes so that's not good either because I really want him to have a good nap while he's at home and in his crib but it's a struggle if you guys have any advice please let me know a fun thing that I didn't know of before I was pregnant was mommy movie Mondays Good morning, you guys. We are here at the Grove. You know when Sunny and I used to go to movies all the time, and then ever since I got pregnant, I wasn't really able to go. What's up with that? Well, guess what, moms? I know moms are watching. <laughs> they have Mommy Monday movies at Pacific Theater. So if you're in Los Angeles, it's at the Grove or the Americana. Um, I think there's other locations. I'll try to post it down below. But every Monday at 11 a.m., you get to watch the newest movie. So this week, um, it's the Civil War movie. <sighs> Sunny, I already saw it, but I haven't seen it, and I've been wanting to watch it. So I'm glad I get to see it, and that's why we're here early. And it's really nice, because there's no one at the mall. It's really quiet. One lady. Inside the theater, they make it mommy friendly. It's really great because you can breastfeed in there, you can change the baby. It's a little distracting, but it's actually kind of nice because even though like- What are other, you looking at? You, well, poop, <laughs> poopy diapers. No, but even though the babies are like kind of like screaming, sometimes yours might scream. And yeah. so it's like cool because everybody's like just there as with babies and you're comfortable with it, so it's fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. So what you do is you leave your stroller down here and you just pick a seat anywhere you want to go. Parked. That's their changing table. Last time, they had it around there at the end. But you're able to watch the movie still. Did you like it? What'd you think of Captain America? He loved it. He loved it. What do you think? He's speechless. What do you think? so good. Yeah? So what was your favorite part? I think it's what everyone else is saying, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man was cool. Get it. Another successful mommy, daddy movie. Um, he was pretty good. He was really good most of the time, right? He was really good. Like, I just bounced him on my knee a lot and then um, he fell asleep. In your arms? Yeah, in my arms. He fell asleep. He was really good. He was really good. And then he slept for half the film, so it was great. The other kids are a little no, um, crying, little crying babies. I think they were newborns. Oh yeah, new, a lot of newborns. It was nice because you're able to breastfeed, the sound isn't too high, the lights aren't too low, um, you're able to change him. There are other parents there so they don't mind if your baby maybe cries or laughs or something. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice thing to do if you need to get out and do something. So that's been a lot of fun and I think the newest thing since he'll be six months in a month um, I've been trying to teach him baby sign languages so if he's hungry or milk or more um, I'm just picking up what I can find on YouTube it's nothing too crazy but these are just like the basics that I use every day and I wanted to see um, if he picks up any of it and it's only been a week so nothing really I can't see anything but he has been um, reaching out for me before it's like do you want me to pick you up and he'll just be like staring at you but now um, if you kind of go like this <laughs> then he'll put his arms up like yes I want to be picked up which is really cute because that's him telling us that he wants to get up I think that's about it for his five month update um, I might try to do it every month kind of for me so I can see him growing and kind of remember the things that 
I went through. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind. Please let me know what your five month year old is going through, what he's doing, what she's doing, or even six months. I kind of want to know what I need to do for six months because at four months is when I learned we needed to do tummy time and that was a lot of fun because I think because we started kind of early, he was able to roll over sort of early. So yeah, any tips and advice from moms, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope he gets better soon. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, it was kind of me moving back and forth. Hopefully it didn't make you feel sick. Thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Morning, I'm here on my computer editing. I'm actually making a thumbnail and watching Casey. I have all my Apple stuff out. Sorry, my desk is a mess.